In this animation, we present the US plastic cycle in 2015 to illustrate how plastics move along the value chain from production to end of life. The main life cycle stages are resin production, intermediate product fabrication, final goods manufacturing, end use, end of life management, and recovery and recycling. In this study, we focused on the seven main thermoplastics, PET, HDPE, LDPE, polypropylene, polystyrene, PVC, and others. The plastic cycle starts with domestic resin production of the seven plastic types. A substantial amount of resins was exported to other countries. In intermediate product fabrication, resins are converted into intermediate or semi-finished plastics through various processing steps, such as extrusion, injection molding, or blow molding, processes that also generate some yield losses. Together with imported intermediate plastics, they are then manufactured into final products and grouped into nine main end use sectors. Transportation, where engineering plastics can be used for the interior of vehicles. Packaging, which includes water bottles, food packaging, or cleaning supplies. In building and construction, plastics are used for piping or windows. Electrical and electronics, for example, printed circuit boards. Furniture and furnishings. Consumer and institutional products, which include rain gear or toys. Industrial machinery adhesives, inks, and coatings, and others such as surgical masks. For reasons of data availability, these end use sectors are then grouped into three main categories, containers and packaging, durable goods, and non-durable goods. Once products are no longer needed or functional, they reach the end of life. The average lifetime of packaging is less than a year, of non-durables a few years, while it can be decades for some durables. End of life management options for plastics are recycling, incineration, and landfill. The large majority of plastics ended up in landfills, around 77% in 2015. Some plastics went to incineration, and only a small fraction was collected as recyclables. These collected plastics are transported to material recovery facilities, or MRFs, which separate the plastics from other recyclables, such as metals or cardboard. Plastics are then sorted by type and quality, with some unrecyclable plastics going to landfills. The baled plastics are then either exported or sent for further cleaning and processing to reclaimers before becoming a secondary feedstock in intermediate product fabrication. This research was conducted by Jing Han Di, Barbara Reck, Alessio Miato, and Tom Gradle at the Yale School of the Environment with support from the Remade Institute. Thank you.